Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a couple projects I wanted to share today. I've been playing with the clay, and I had gotten this mold. It is, I got it on Amazon, and I think it's by that A, here we go, M Amico Moon Mold, right? So I made this piece, and I was considering this a sun and this a moon. I don't know why. But when my husband saw it, he's like, no, that's the man and the moon and the moon. And I was like, oh, okay, well, and then I changed it into a moon. And it was very simple to do because I basically did the whole thing in just blue and white. I, I did do one of those twisty kind of blending techniques for the background, but I don't know if you can even tell. I'm not very good at it, evidently. Um, and then I end up putting purple ink of gold on there. I use these rubs. I have a lot of the different colors. This is what I'm talking about, the Viva ink of gold. So I use that, and I have um, silver uh, rub and buff, and that comes in a tube. And you can get this at uh, Michael's and AC Moore. Usually, most hobby and craft stores would have it, but it's a it's a wax metallic finish and you only need a very little bit and I just use that to color so all the stars that you see on here um, I did this star and this star so the bigger one and the little one and then I just used cookie cutters for the other um, stars the other sizes um, and then I did the big moon and what I thought was the sun <laughs> And I had just put orange on him, so it was easy to change it. I just took the silver um, rub and buff and went back over it, so it looks really cute. Um, and then I just put, oh, the words, it has imagine, wish, and dream, and they're part of the mold, so I used them. And I just did them in the same color as the background, and then used, um, well, actually gold. I used my Inca gold, um, no, 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 my gold rub and buff on those but uh, I've been I've had it for a while this mold and I never used it so this is just a mirror this is um, trying to think where I where you get this and I think I got this at Hobby Lobby in the like um, what, what department was it in I can't think of what department it was in and it was a two-pack and it was a very good deal um, but I so it's a mirror on one side you know you could put a, a plant on top of it or it's it's something like that it's to use for like a, a coaster type thing or something but then I, I just cut holes in the clay to let the light reflect and it's all over my ceiling right now and then I have this little stand and I just stand it in that so that's kind of cute right and then, of course, I had a votive. I have one more of these little votives. And I think, I want to show you the difference. So this is the votive, how it turned out. The mold also has a small uh, crescent moon and a small circle moon. So this on this one, I just used the smaller one. So here's the crescent moon. And then on the other side is the, the full moon. And I love him. He's kind of looking off to the side. But I swear, I thought it was a sun, but my husband said, no, it's, it's the moon. It's got stars all around it. So I just did the same thing. I covered the, the votive with, with the clay and then cut out a bunch of star holes in it using my cookie cutters. And um, I put a few dots on here. These are the little etch and pearl tool. And then I cut out some stars out of pearl, white pearl clay, and put them on. And then again, I just used the same color, the background color for my words, dream, wish, and imagine. And I just used my, my rubs to give them some cheeks and some lips, but I antiqued everything, okay? Remember, I wanted to show you the difference. So, you know, how I put the black paint all over everything, and then it gets in all the nooks and crannies, because if I hadn't done that, you wouldn't be able to see all that detail around their faces. And also in the letters, the letters turned out black on this, but this one pops up, so I had to do that. Um, 
so I definitely wanted to antique this so I, I totally knew what I was going for this is what I had planned on doing I did that the bigger one um, but yeah it's a cool it's cool I mean I think it turned out pretty cool for someone who's a celestial person but look at the difference this is uh, a big votive that I did and I didn't antique this and it's all the true colors of the clay and then I did a little bit of the, the um, there's pink uh, Viva Inca gold I rubbed pink on here a little bit of gold on my fish I probably put some silver on top of that like I hit it here and there not a ton I didn't put a ton on maybe a little green on my seaweed um, I'd really like to know how I got that white that looks like white pearl and I do not have white pearl that might be silver I don't know I put a little silver on my dolphin just to give it a little shine and it looks like I put a little green you can see it the metallic shine but I absolutely love the way the clay looks in its natural state and that's the whole thing about this antiquing that I'm debating now because I love the way my um, fairy houses have been turning out and see I think it has to do with this is a bright it's under the sea and all the colors are vivid and bright right but this one is it's a garden and so it would be out and there would be moss growing on it and it would start to get an aged look to it so i think it's just appropriate for the style of the piece you know um and this one too i think it it definitely suits it but i am thinking i'm going to um do my other votive. I'm going to do one more fairy house and I'm going to do it and I'm going to keep it the true colors and just use the Inca golds to pop it out. I don't know. It won't look the same. I'm telling you. But look how cute that looks as a votive holder. You can see all the cutouts. It's so fun. So yeah, I did this whole thing with like two colors of clay and um, a couple of colors of Inca gold. So maybe the silver and the gold, you could have done it, you know? Oh, and then I did add stickles. There is some glitter on the stars. I put glitter, just a little. I just rub it on there so it glitters a little bit when there's no light on. Um, but okay, I just wanted to show you that. So yeah, this is just a mold that I have. Like, I think this mold right here that just happens to be sitting on my desk, this is one of the ones that it's actually for fondant, I think it's called, or cake decorating. You could probably do a votive with using this and just use, you know, put these leaves around the top, put the flowers around the bottom, put a few branches and a couple birds on the branches and flowers and you would have a super cute little piece like maybe I should I should try it and see what happens um, so just try it don't be afraid to try even if you don't think you can mold anything you don't have to be able to I mean it's all just oh and I did use I had a texture sheet of stars so just like when I did it in the tutorial I just took this texture sheet and laid it down and just rolled this over so all the stars that are indented in there that's my texture sheet and I think I did them on, I did them opposite on this one so these are sticking up these stars are kind of sticking up and these are going down in and I think I like the down in ones better because all the black paint got caught inside the stars so it's pretty cool anyway so I'm having fun I'm gonna continue on my um, I have one more of these mirrors I think a fairy door a fairy door could be cute on here too um you know I'm really loving that whimsical thing I mean hey why not right um, just put the bricks a fern a fern a vine you know I think it could be cute but then I would want to cut little holes in it to make the to get the mirror to shine through right 
so who knows I'm, I'm not sure what tomorrow will bring but I know it will be fun <laughs> but see the difference with the patina and not the patina either one works so just have fun all right you guys thanks for watching